I want to paint a picture for you, if you will, from this passage of scripture of what real mothers should look like. Now, there are a lot of things we're going to learn from this story, but we're only going to deal with three of them because you can't do it all in a day. We're going to talk about three of those things that we learn about real mothers from this passage of skip scripture beginning in 1 Kings 3.16. And I'm going to read this to you, and you can read along with me if you like, but I encourage you to paint a picture on your mind. Know this story when you leave here. Because it's the word that we know that will bless us. And too often we got pictures in our minds of the real housewives of Atlanta. But today we're talking about real mothers of the Bible. And we're going to paint a picture of what real mothers look like. It sounds like one of those storylines from the real housewives, doesn't it? Oh, yes, it does. But this story is straight from the word of God. And there are many lessons, as I've said, that we can learn from this, but we're only going to talk about three. The story started by telling us that our two main characters are prostitutes, whores, thoughts, sluts, huzzies, fornicators, adulterous sinners. You get the idea. We got two women that are both mothers that are both sinners. All right, y'all got the picture? I just learned the word thought last week yet. Yeah. Is that what he a thought, 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 thought? I just learned that at the women's fellowship last week. Thought, okay. That hoe over there, is that what it is? I'm sorry, I'm in church, but that's what, okay, the Bible says they were prostitutes. Okay, so I'm not saying anything that we didn't find in the word of God. Somebody say amen. The first thing we learn about real mothers are that real mothers are not perfect. They fall short. Real mothers are not perfect. They don't exist. The Bible says we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and we know that. Yet sometimes mothers, real mothers, we try to be perfect. We, we want to have the perfect children, and we want to have a perfect husband, and we want to go to the perfect church, and we want to be in the perfect house, and we want to have a perfect car, and we want to have a perfect job. And, and you know, we could go on and on and on. We eat almost nothing to stay the perfect size, and then we get up before a day and stay up all night trying to bring home the bacon, fry it up in the pan, and help our husband to remember that he's our man. 